Do it on YouTube. Yes. Yes. Once again. Once again. Experiencing summer. Well. Partial summer. Maybe half an hour of summer a day. Once a week. Depends if they feel like letting the sun out. Being someone that works outside when I get up and leave for work at ten past six in the morning. The sky is usually clear. And there's a sun in it. Might be the odd bit of cloud. Hmm. Usually relatively warm because I wear shorts. I get to work. Prepare my delivery. Leave the office to white or grey. Or occasionally blue sky. And then I find that probably up to about midday, most days, you might get a glimpse of the sun. Then it'll go in. We'll have a shit turn up. And then it might come out in the evening. Now this all depends on whether the sun's gone <coughs> or not. Because if the sun's gone, <coughs> it don't matter how fucking much they spray, you get tic-tac-toe and it's obvious. Anyone who's got eyes, eyes, that's all you need, eyes, look up to the sky and see lines right that if you if you actually bother to watch any time lapses that I've done and other people have done you'll see it clearly expand into a, a cloud now anyone who's still in denial of such te technology I just have n I'm not going to waste my breath with you just die at the end of the day die eating GMO food and don't come up to me and ask me for some advice in the future because I don't really want to say, I told you so. Okay? I, I couldn't care less if you don't want to take it on board. Right? Yeah? At the same time, right? If you, if you don't want to take on board that weather modification is happening or even a consideration of what could be causing these issues, right? Yeah? If you don't want to even think Oh, let's look into that, right? Don't complain about the fucking weather. Don't complain about the sickness, the lack of vitamin D, and all the other issues. You know, the acidic soil, plants not growing. You know, the fact that we've had the longest day, and the vegetation period is over, and now plants should be going, <gasps> flat on, quick! Days are getting shorter! Ah! But plants are so confused, as in the lack of anything, throughout the vegetational period of its life that they don't know what to do. They're like that. Bit of sun, whoosh, no sun. And the next day they don't grow. It's like, it's just shocking, right? I've also found out after watching a video by um, a radio show with a host called Dan Wiggleton. On, he was talking about how <clears throat> in the last 10, year, 10 years or so they've intensified chemtrail spray and they've been using sorry, stratospheric sulphur aerosol or cloud seeding, however you want to call it, because in actual fact, cloud seeding does not fall under the same umbrella as geoengineering. Cloud seeding is, tech, is not geoengineering. It actually quite clearly says this in the 221 PDF uh, publications. Okay, there's a difference. Cloud seeding, this is how they get away with you. Oh, geo, not geoengineering. But you are cloud seeding. You are using stratospheric sulphur aerosols. Okay, you are. Okay, let's get over that. All right. They've been using them, intensifying the use of them in the last, probably, since about 2006, but at least in the last 10 years, right? And now they've fucked up, right? They've destroyed even more of the ozone layer, and the ice fucking in the North Pole and the South Pole is melting. And when that melts, and the reflectivity of the planet fucking drops... Oh no! So what are they doing? They're spraying shit around the outside of the planet and causing a bit of bubble! Bubble of glass. Oh, yeah, great. What happens? What happens? Think about it, right? Think about this logically. There's the bubble of glass. Inside there, there's a filament. And inside that filament, beyond that, there's a little dot. You see the little round thing in the middle. That's the earth, okay? It's the earth inside some glass. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to do this again with a filament without the bubble round it. But we could have we could have a bubble that's porous that, that you know like in a magnetic field, but glass. Right now, if I go outside when it's sunny and point the glass in at the right angle into the sky, 
light would bounce off it and you could direct that light onto a bit of paper and it would probably burn and cause fire. Why is that? Hmm. Because it's glass. It's inside the glass. So, you know, it doesn't take too much rocket fucking fuel, does it? Doesn't, you don't have to be a rocket scientist. I think that's the words I was looking for. You, in, you, it, hmm. What happens? Oh, let's put a bit of glass around the entire earth. And let the sun intensify its heat at it. And wonder why it gets humid. And then wonder why the entire contents of the planet is fucking burnt. It's called the Venus effect. The Venus effect. So, at the end of the day, right, I'm quite clearly sharing this planet with a bunch of idiots. Okay? Not, I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about the people above. People up there who want to control the world. Okay? If they're going to destroy the planet, and aliens don't turn up and say, what are you doing? No. Why? Why, why have you done this? If they don't turn up and say, why? Right? If they don't, I would like some notice before the end of the world happens, because it's going to happen in my lifestyle. This might sound quite selfish in my lifetime. If it's going to happen, I'd like to know, because I'd like a party. I'd like to enjoy myself for the last time properly. Maybe I should start living my life as if every day is the last. Hmm? I don't know if I've got that much energy to give it anymore, to be honest with you, but I just would like a little bit of courtesy. That's all I'm asking. Powers of B, if you're going to fuck the planet up completely, can you at least give us a little bit of notice before we die? So we can at least have a party and say goodbye to our loved one. That's all I have to say, because I'm past caring about whether if people wake up or not, you either wake up or you don't. And if you don't want to, you're going to die earlier than I am, because you haven't got the knowledge not to. I'm sorry if that sounds quite harsh, but that's just the reality of it. Okay? Yeah. If not, go back to watching telly, drinking your fluoride-induced water, and eating processed food. Hmm. Peace, love, and light. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so come nice and close to me, please. So sort of swoop in and just up you go. Up you go. Go on. <laughs> I wake up each morning neath a dismal white sky. It's just about enough to make me want to cry. Plants just not growing, people get so sick. Geoengineering is the reason for it. Toxic white lines in the sky don't make you feel high. Toxic white lines in the sky don't make you feel high. Aeroplanes are painting white lines in my sky. Not like normal contrails, these are the toxic kind. Barium and cadmium fall into the ground. Plants die when there's an aluminium around. Toxic white lines in the sky make you wanna cry. Make you wanna cry. Toxic white lines in the sky make you wanna cry. Make you wanna cry. The media deny it, they trust you as insane. They even go too far to say you're meant to leave the range. To turn off your TV set and look up where they fly To see the toxic white lines that occupy the sky Toxic white lines in the sky Make you wanna die Make you wanna die Toxic white lines in the sky Make you wanna die Wake up each morning neath the dismal white sky It's just about enough to make me wanna cry Plants just not growing, people get so sick Geoengineering is the reason for it Toxic white lines in the sky Make you wanna die Make you wanna die Toxic white lines in the sky Make you wanna die Make you wanna die Aeroplanes 
to painting white lines in my sky. Not like normal contrast, these are the toxic kind. Barium and cadmium falling to the ground. Plants die when there's an aluminium around. Toxic white lines in the sky don't make you feel high. Deny it, they cast you as insane They even go so far to say you're meant to need to rage So turn off your TV set and look up where they fly To see the toxic white lines that occupy the sky Toxic white lines in the sky Make you wanna cry Make you wanna cry Toxic white lines 